Hello there. My name's Ronnie. What's your name? Who are you? Where are you? And what are the five WH questions in English? Can you name them? Oh, six. Oh, I got six. Let's go to the board and see. In English, we have five very common WH questions. People will say the five WH questions. There they are. Repeat with me. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. Who, what, when, where, why, how. Six. Again. Who, what, when, where, why, how. When I was learning Japanese and Spanish, the very, very first thing that I learned was the five WH questions in Japanese and the five WH questions in Spanish. So, I recommend that you remember these in English. You've got five, six very important questions that you can ask anytime, anywhere, at any place necessary. <clears throat> you may look at this and go, okay, I see W-H-O, who, W-H, 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 what, that, what, this confused me as a child. A teacher, why is H-O-W a W-H question? What's happening here? What have you done to my young brain? And then I looked at it and go, oh, there's an and a W, hee hee hee. So it is an H W W H question. Then you got your six. So let's go through and think about why we would use these. Hmm. W H questions for conversation. Have you ever had a really boring conversation with someone? I have all the time, every day. We say it's like pulling teeth to get someone to speak to you or have a conversation, which means pulling teeth, it's painful. The person is not interested in what you're saying. You would rather talk to the wall than speak to this person. So here's how not to be boring when you're trying to have a conversation with someone. Someone may ask you a question. For example, what did you do yesterday? Most people go, nothing. Wow, you're a really cool, exciting person. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Bye-bye. So you can say something as simple like, um, I ate dinner. Good, we've got something. So you can then continue the conversation with the person and say, oh, who? Who, who, who cooked the dinner? And the person says, my mom. Cool. Okay, so you know that this person ate dinner, so they can't be that boring. And you know that they have a mother. Two points. Can you think of a what question you could ask someone about dinner? <gasps> what did you eat? Or what did your mother cook? Okay, what did she cook? And the person can go, food. And at this point I would give up and carry on to a different conversation with another person like you. So I could say to you, hello, when did you start studying English? And you say, ah, oh, Five years ago. Perfect. Okay. So when did you start? Now, you don't have to talk about English all the time because that's kind of boring. Maybe you know that the person does sports or the person likes drawing or painting. So you can say, when did you start playing A sport. When did you start playing football? 
Usually people like to talk about football. People like to talk about their favorite team, Manchester United, Barcelona. So if you can start the person talking on something they like, your conversation is going to go amazing. So what about a where question? Hmm. Maybe you are at a meeting or you're in a very awkward social situation where you have to speak to people and maybe the person is not from your country. You can ask them a very simple question like, where are you from? And maybe the person says, I'm from Canada. And then, oh, really? Ronnie's from Canada. Do you know Ronnie? And the person goes, no. Okay, that's good. Can you think of a why question you could ask someone? Let's talk about mm, food. Why did your mother cook food? That's a strange question. Um, why do you like football? Why did you start studying English? Okay, and then this crazy one, how? This is yeah, kind of a strange question, but there are techniques. You could say, how long? How long have you studied English for? Or how long did you live in your home country? How long did you work at your job? <laughs> how long did you live? Maybe you're talking to a ghost. That would be cool. And then you say, ghost, how long did you live? Okay. How long did you live in your country? So. What's very, 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 very important that I almost forgot was because these are questions, you need to always have a question mark when you're writing. When you're speaking, you know the person is asking you a question because your voice goes up. So I wouldn't say, what did you cook? I would say, what did you cook? Every single time in English you ask a question, your voice goes up at the end of the question. So the person knows it's their chance to answer and not be boring. You've got homework. The next time you have a conversation with someone in English or in your language, think of one of the six WH questions you could ask them, or if you're really ambitious, Think of six WH questions you could ask them to continue your conversation. If you'd like more great continuing conversation bits, go to Ingvid. Toodles.